How you doing? I'm Jimmy Falcone, former good fella currently freezing his ass off in Canada. Back in the old life, I never saw snow. And I don't mean drugs. I delegated that to Big Blow Bellucci. I'm talking real snow. Jimmy complained about the cold. I want you guys to make it summer around here. Thought it was calling for a huge snowstorm. Not that I'm complaining. It worked. From now on, it's gonna be summer all the time. Except Christmas. I like a white Christmas, but warm. Capiche? I love New York in November. I look dolphin! <laughs> Palm trees in New York? If global warming means the end of the world, so be it. Hey, Rocco, that counts as a break. Now I live in Regina, where global warming ain't hit yet. It snows all the freaking time here. I mean, it never stops! Don't worry, Jimmy. I got your back. Cheech, what the hell you doing? There's too many snowflakes. I can't get them all. Tell them all I went down fighting. If you think I can even remember what summer feels like, forget about it. Let me tell you something about a friend of ours named Jimmy. I made the wise guy and a couple with a gambini. But when he found out that they'd be whacking Uncle Cheech, he'd take the boss, he threw him from the 19th floor suite. Wasn't much along till the mob all wants him dead. So Jimmy had no choice but to talk to all the feds. The feds would say they helped if they could use him as a pawn. So he ratted out his friends and moved to Saskatchewan. Forget about it. Forget about it. Forget about it. What's her name? I don't know what you're talking about. What? <coughs> hey! Oh, you have been working out? Oh. Oh. Say hello to the devil when you meet him, you two-timing greaseball. <gasps> I just took the last soda. What? Ah. Jimmy, cookie, for God's sake, the entire neighborhood can hear this hullabaloo. Jimmy's cheating on me, McCool. Let me shoot him. Cookie, I surveilled Jimmy regularly, and I can assure you he's doing nothing of the sort. Though he did glance at a copy of Jug Glover's Quarterly at the gas station. Shame, shame. The feds won't forward my subscription. Don't you see? Cookie's busy with the kids, you're busy with your job. When's the last time you two spent some quality time together? Does drunk angry sex at 3 a.m. count as quality? It barely even counts as sex. Heed my words, quality time is the key to a happy marriage. This, from a bachelor whose best friend is a fucking horse. Cook, why would you think I'm cheating on you? Because you snuck out last night. I would have chased you, but the ambient was kicking in. I swear on the soul of my mother, that wasn't me. Then who was it? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Wanna grill the kids? I'll get the waterboard. No, we gotta catch them in the act. Like when Gina stole money from my wallet. She won't be doing that again. Look at you slaving away! How much is Dad paying you for this? Five bucks. Five bucks? You're getting screwed by the man. He's inside, nice and warm, and you're out here freezing your ass off for no money like a sucker. I like helping out. You're getting exploited. And so are all these other kids. <laughs> Sounds like you're developing a social conscience, Gina. Yeah, I don't know what that is. But I'll tell ya, if anyone's doing any exploiting around here, it's me. So it's Cheech sneaking around. Sorry I punched you in the face, Jimmy. I don't remember that. You were sleeping. That explains the loose tooth. Look at Cheech's clothes. In the old days, he only ever dressed up to pull a job. That knucklehead's gonna get us all in trouble. We better follow him. How are we supposed to do that if he's got the car? I know we're probably following Cheech on some depraved crime spree, but this is fun! This is what McCool was talking about. I got a bicycle seat up my ass. How exactly is this fun? Why didn't you just take Petey's bike? I thought this was Petey's bike. 
It's worse than we thought. Cheech is going into a crack den. Nah, nobody dresses up for a crack den. It's probably just a whorehouse. We gotta get Cheech out of there before he gets pinched. Let's do this nice and quiet. Ah, screw it. Let's just do it loud and mean. Yeah! Jimmy, what are you doing here? Me? What about you? You sneaking around for a dance class? Why didn't you just tell me? No offense, Jimmy, but I got a life outside of you, you know. This looks like fun. Jimmy, maybe ballroom dancing is just what we need to spend some quality time together. Why not? Beach riding bikes. May I have this dance? No, no, no. You cannot dance together. Your bodies are, how you say, incompatible. You are built like pickle barrel, and you are bag of oatmeal. Hey, you more suited to Juan Carlos. Nice to meet you, Juan Carlos. <laughs> oh, someone's a smooth talker. <laughs> you, what's his name? Name is Jimmy. I, Svetenka. Now dance me. Dance me long and hard. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. So, Gina, what is this union of yours gonna do for us? Suppose you hurt yourself shoveling, huh? Who looks after you? If your shovel breaks, who buys your new one? Our parents? They're the ones who sent you out in minus 20 weather in the first place. Them grown-ups are playing you for stooges. Yeah! I shoveled Mrs. Wilson's place, and she didn't pay. Sign up with the Brotherhood of Snow Shoveling Youth, and she'll definitely pay. They'll all pay. Who's with me? Union! 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 Jackets are mandatory for members. 50 bucks a pop. What? 50 bucks? Gina, are you serious about organized labor, or is this just a cash grab? Don't worry, Petey. The jacket money comes out of wages. You won't even notice. And if I hear any more of that scab talk, I'll cut your fucking eyes out. That was freaking amazing! It was like I was on that show, dancing with the people who used to be stars. With Juan Carlos, I was dancing on a cloud of tacos and vending machine cologne. McCool was right about us spending time together. Except we didn't really spend any time together, because our bodies are... How you say incompatible? Ah, she don't know what she's talking about. I'll prove it to you. Oh! Jesus, when's the last time we danced? Sorry. No problem. Let me think. Was it at a wedding? Ow! Oops. Nah, I got nabbed for that diamond ring robbery before our first dance, remember? What? Oh. My bad. Did you guys get electrocuted or something? Maybe oh. ballroom dancing ain't our thing. Well, if we can't dance together, there's no point doing it at all. I agree. Ballroom dancing is out. Good call. You look like a couple of seagulls fighting over a french fry. Jimmy. Ah! I need you ride me, Jimmy. Ride me right now. Svetanka, no. I'm married. Ride me to dance studio. I am late. Oh, you mean drive you. Sure. You know, every time you talk, it sounds like a come on. It's Fetenka's accent. You know, Jimmy, dancing with you last night made me so wet. Okay, you really should stop talking now. What? You are a sweaty man. Come in for one dance. I don't think my wife would like that. You know you want to. We keep forbidden dance a secret. Come, Jimmy. Again with the sexy talk. Jimmy? Care to tell me what you're doing here? You're sneaking around behind my back, ain't ya? What are you flipping out for? I just came in for a quickie with Svetanka. Dance! Quickie dance! I thought we agreed ballroom dancing wasn't for us. Says the broad who's standing in a dance studio. I had to double cheech down here on Petey's bike. I popped in to use the washroom. You know what? Juan Carlos asked me to be his partner for the Golden Bollies. Well, you ain't touching no one else's Golden Bollies. It's a dance contest, you moron. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, I'm gonna enter, too. I just need to find me a dance partner. That's right. I'm gonna win them Golden Balls with Swatanka here. Oh, Jimmy, it is so on. 
It couldn't be honor. Jimmy, can I get a ride home? Cookie broke Petey's bike. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? I got rehearsal. These tap shoes ain't gonna tap themselves. Well, I got rehearsal too, mister. Who's gonna stay home and watch Gina? Gina? She ain't even home. I ain't seen her in days. In that case, dibs on the car! I got no time for this. I gotta pick up sequins for my fancy pants. Wait, I just heard that. Catch you later, sucker! You come back here. Oh, man. All these dances really whip me into shape. How you doing? I'm Gina. Business agent for Bossy Local One. My comrade here says he performed snow-related labor for you, and you didn't pay. What gives? I didn't know he was doing it. Didn't know? What, are you blind? Legally, yes. Can you see good enough to fish a freaking 50 out of your purse? I'm on a fixed income. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Things are tough all over. Now make with the money. In my day, we didn't... Well, your day's done, Stegosaurus. Give it a snow job, boys. You want it cleared? That's another 50 bucks. <laughs> Ow! Ouch! I don't know how those ice dancers sew these sequins on. By using a double top stitch. How many times I gotta tell you? I can't focus. Cookie's so competitive about this dance contest, she's driving me crazy! You want me to pull a Tonya Harding, take out a knee? Say the word, she'll never walk again. That's my wife you're talking about! Besides, I'm way ahead of you. I slashed the tires so she can't get to rehearsal. Isn't that your car, Jimmy? Yeah, but it's also her car. That's why you're the boss, Jimmy. Always thinking. Now give me some change for the bus. Uh, I entered this contest to stick it to your father, but... He's really giving me a run for my money. You really want to win? You're gonna need an edge. Oh! Teresa Maria Falcone. This is just lewd, crass, and totally hot. Nice work. <laughs> this shouldn't bother me, because I grew up around Italians, but your dance partner is really greasy. He drinks olive oil, says it keeps him young. He's actually 72. <laughs> oh, I ain't paying you jagoffs to stand around gawking. Get back to work. Gina, I've been elected shop steward, and as such must tell you, the bossy membership feels they're not getting a fair shake. That's crazy. I'm paying five bucks a house. It's market rate. But you're charging our customers 50. What happens to the other 45? I think them fancy jackets pay for themselves. Teresa bought them, and you still haven't paid her back. I got a, a health and retirement plan to pay for. Them things don't come cheap. You know what else don't come cheap? Us. On behalf of the members of Bossy Local One, I hereby declare a strike. Yay! Just as soon as Brother Oliver has his potty break. Whoa, look at the balls on this room. I suddenly feel inadequate. I, I feel nervous. You nervous, Juan Carlos? <laughs> Do you even speak English? <laughs> hey, Cook, geez, you look great. Just like one of them old-timey prostitutes. Aw, oh, Jimmy, thanks. Look at you. That costume makes me want to say, Olay. Jimmy, why you talk to old whore? <clears throat> oh, sorry, old whore is kooky. I don't listen to her. I just wanted to wish you luck in the contest. And sorry I saw the heels off your dancing shoes. Thanks, babe. And I'm sorry I put horse laxative in your dinner. When'd you do that? I gotta go! Did you f 
fucking face, Jimmy. Way to go, Cheech. Wait, what did he say? Yimmy, we won second place. Uh, hey, get your chernobyl licking tongue out of my husband's mouth. Is that what I think it is? It's these pants. They make me look huge. And like I'm pointing up. Listen, slut anchor. You boinking my husband? Da. Oh, da means yes. What's the Ruski word for no? Nyet. That's it. I haven't boinked her. Nyet. You haven't boinked her yet? <laughs> well, have fun with your Russian floozy, you pig. What's wrong with you? You're gonna get me killed. Oh, you die for me. So romantic. No, I die because of you. You and I got no future, you understand? Forget future. Taste present. Ah. Yeah. Present tastes like vodka and lip gloss. Look. Get it through your skull. I ain't interested. Svetenka, no believe you. All right, then. I'm gay. Ooh, it's hot. I bring man to bedroom for Yimmy. How about Juan Carlos? <laughs> I watch. Yeah, my answer to that is... Hell no! We won't blow snow! We won't blow snow! Would you guys just get out of here? I don't need this crap. We are not leaving until our demands are met. Fine, let's just settle this thing. You're willing to negotiate? Wow, I thought you'd just hire a bunch of scabs from the hobo jungle. Yeah, I tried that. Didn't turn out so good. It's cold. You wanna have sex? So, there it is. I accounted for every day right down to the minute. You tell me. When could I have possibly slept with Svetanka? I know what I saw, Yimmy. Okay, fine. You got me. I've been riding it like a freaking tilt a whirl. I knew it! Wait a second. You'd never admit to something like that unless you're lying. And if you're lying, it means you didn't do it. Aw, oh, come here, you big lug. It's official. I will never understand women. <laughs> I want you, Saint Svetanka, Gabadana Velianovich. Who was that? Oh, is that for me, you big sweetheart? Let's do that right now. Bring the bear. What the hell are you doing out there, you wacko? No more wait. It's time for sexy. <laughs> I told you before, I don't fool around on my wife, ever. Maybe this changed your mind. Oh! Swatanka, for the last time, get out of here! And take your two perky friends with you. If Cookie finds out this broad stalking me, she's gonna go ballistic! She'll kill Svetanka, I'll be next, and a couple of the kids might get clipped in the crossfire. It'll be a bloodbath! But surely she won't blame you. You're an innocent victim here. Clearly you've never been married. And don't call me a victim. It makes me sound like a candy ass. Jimmy, don't you see? You're keeping a secret from your wife. That's just as bad as cheating. Again, clearly, you've never been married. Cookie's your partner for life. Are you gonna start with that quality time crap again? Cause that's what got me into this shit show. I know this is highly implausible considering your background, but I think you should tell the truth. You think? All right, today's as good a day to die as any. But just to be safe, I'll take Svetanka into protective custody in the morning. The Canada! where most men would pay to be stalked by hot Russian girls. Where you been? Seeing McCool. Don't worry, he'll corroborate. Look, you and me gotta talk. What's up? You know Swatanka. Yeah? What about her? She's been stalking me. Here we go. Oh boy, thanks for the crappy advice, McCool. Well, I can't say I blame her. You're not mad? Oh, I'm gonna slice her up later. But I ain't mad at you. You didn't do nothing. 
What was that? Whoa, this is just like that movie where the crazy stalker broad cooks the rabbit. Oh, God. You, you think she's in the house? Hell, I bet she's right behind us. Yeah. What? I'm making beans. Oh, won't you budge on anything? Hey, hey, hey. I gave you a 2% wage increase over 10 years, didn't I? What's taking so long? Those kids are still on the picket line. Mary's got frostbite, all of us crying for his blankie, and I don't even know why I'm still there. Now what? Running a union is too much hassle. I'm out! Oh, no, you're not. You have a responsibility to those kids. Don't make me sick the labor board on you. Oh, uh, Petey, I already paid him off. Speaking of which... What's this? You and Teresa's cut of the money I made off the scam. Count me in! Um, I don't know. I don't think I can... And I just sold out. Hey, Petey broke his cherry! Is Fetenka can't have Yimmy? No one can. I never understood that about stalkers. You love the guy, so why kill him? It's stupid. So, I kill you first? Did I say stupid? Let me rephrase that. Svetanka, you're never gonna have me, so you might as well just kill us. <gasps> but before you do, can I have one last dance with my wife? Da, one more time you flop around like puppets, then I shoot you. <laughs> you look like circus bear boxing kangaroo! <laughs> Now that's what I call dancing. Jimmy, you're a genius. Well, I got my moments. Yeah! Jimmy, look out! Gina, good job. Beat! Why'd you hit Cheech? Yeah, I was on a roll. Pop, you get the quick lime, I'll chop her up. See, isn't this nice? We're doing stuff together. It's quality time, just like McCool said. Good news, Jimmy. Svetanka's visa has expired. We can deport. Oh, God, is she dead? Nah, but give us five minutes. La 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 la